Do you have success, but you just want to go to that next level? Maybe you're at the six figure mark and you want to hit that seven figure mark, but you can't break it. Or maybe it seems like you can never get ahead. It's like you're stuck. It's like nothing you do allows you to get out of your current situation. My name is Joe Mavu at Master Life by Design, and today's video is how to be successful in life or business guaranteed. Now, you might be sitting there wondering, you know what, how did you read my mind, Joe? And I can only share this because I've been in this position before in my life. I've coached hundreds of people through this exact challenge. The thing is, I remember when I was literally $40,000 in credit card debt almost, I was broke eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to get by, and it's like, I, I thought the harder I worked, the more I'd achieve, but that didn't always translate. And I just felt myself stuck, and I couldn't get out of where I was. And I found the common denominator for myself and for others. And through the last 10, 10 years working with people, especially on increasing their income and their life or their business, I found this principle to really be true. And what I found is that what happens to most people is they never stay in something long enough. Or another way of saying that that I love to share is you don't plant your flag in one area or one industry or occupation or business for an extended period of time. What happens for most people is they pick up their flag and they plant it somewhere and they're like, okay, this is what I'm doing, sales. And then after a while, you know, six months, they're like, man, this is hard, right? Everything that we go after, there's a hit, we hit this wall, this challenging point where it just seems like we're not getting ahead. And what they do is they say, well, obviously if I'm hitting this wall, then it's meant that I need to go do something else. And that's their first limiting belief is that they think they got to do something else. So what do they do to pick up their flag and they go put in something else? I'm going to go do internet marketing. Yes. And so they go and do internet marketing and then they figure out that it's like a seven headed monster internet marketing to make money online. And all of a sudden they hit that resistance like, well, this isn't working. Well, I love working with people. Let me go to network marketing. And it's the same cycle where they pick it up all the time, their flag up all the time. And so if you're going to have success in anything guaranteed, the number one thing you need to know is you must plant your flag somewhere for at least seven years. I would say seven years or longer. The reason being is because if you're putting all your time, all your energy into it, all of a sudden you are going to get to a level of mastery. And when you focus on mastery more than money, the game changes, right? Whenever I focus on, you know, hitting a financial goal, very rarely do I achieve it. My clients, same situation. And it's not because they're not good at what they do. It's because they focus on money and not their skill. If you're going to take notes in this video, I would say this, focus on becoming a better blank if you want to make more money. You want to be a better coach or make more money coaching? Be a better coach. You want to be a better, you want to make more money in marketing? Be a better marketer. You want to be, you want to have a greater relationship? Work on being a better lover, right? Like you focus on what your skill set is instead of the money and that's when the game changes. But so many people, what they do is they pick up their flag and plant it from place to place. <clears throat> I've given this analogy to a lot of my clients, but in other videos, it's like your business or what you want to have success in in your life, even in relationships or fitness, what happens is we commit to planting our tree. Now, we want the tree to give us all these great results, all this abundance, right? But what happens is when you plant a tree, the roots have to go deep. And the deeper the roots grow and the wider they grow, the taller the tree can grow and the taller it grows, the wider it can get and the more abundance it can produce. But what happens when you pick up the tree out of the ground? It goes in shock. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God, and it kind of restricts. And guess what happens from there? They, you go and you plant it somewhere else, and it's like, <gasps> they get planted, and they're like, oh my God, is this, uh, is it okay to kind of start, you know, plant myself here? Can I allow the roots to relax? So it's in shock for a little bit. And then after a while, it's like, oh, it's been a couple months. Oh, okay, I think I can put my roots down. And at that six month mark where you hit the wall again, right? Then you pick the tree up and you go network marketing and then it's like, oh, it goes in shock again. And so therefore you never produce the fruits that you want. You never get the abundance. But if you compare that to the person who plants their tree and they get the water and the sunshine, the roots grow deep. After about seven years, 
those trees start to mature. And I get it because right outside my window, I've planted a tree last year, a decent sized tree, not a little baby tree, but it's like after just one year, and it's not even been a year yet, but after one year, the diameter of that tree has almost doubled. I can't imagine where it's going to be in the next seven years. And so imagine if that tree that that second person planted had seven years in that industry, it would go and produce so much fruit. And let me ask you, if this tree was producing so much fruit, would you be like, ah, I think I'm gonna put it over here and see if it'll produce even more. No, you're gonna let it stay there. It's kind of like a portfolio. If it's making you money, it's compounding, you're not gonna say, well, this is doing great, but I'm gonna see if I can do better over here. You wouldn't do that. That just doesn't make sense, right? So you wanna make sure that you plant your flag in one area. Now I have countless examples of this because I remember when I got out of the Marine Corps, I was wondering where am I gonna plant my flag? And I thought it was you know, personal training and then I wanted to be a physical therapist. And so I started down that path and I was like, eh. and then I got in network marketing. I was like, oh, network marketing's it. And after about five years, I was having okay success, but I wasn't because I was focused on money and not becoming a better network marketer. Although I read books, right? But then I said, okay, well, I'm going to internet marketing and I flew to Florida to meet my buddy Steve because he was having great success because the key to success is having great mentorship. And I started learning, I started diving in and it's like I said, it's a seven headed monster and it was just a lot, especially at that time when it was more difficult and I kind of hit that wall again. So I was like, screw that, I'm gonna go to, and I went into sales. And then very shortly I hit a wall and that's when coaching presented itself and I got in coaching and I said, you know what? I'm going to focus on keeping my tree planted here. I'm planting my flag in coaching. Through the good, through the bad, the ugly, the challenge, that wall that you hit, I'm gonna go through all of it, right? And I did. I consider myself a master coach. I've coached for companies. I coach for my own business. I have, I build coaching departments for companies. I consider myself a master coach after doing this for a decade and over 17,000 coaching calls. And so I hear things that I wouldn't have heard a decade ago. And so my skill set goes like above wherever I was in the beginning, right? And therefore, obviously, if I can help people fold their uh, full time for them and get results a lot faster, then I can charge more for that. And so my income can go up and increase and I can add more value to people a lot faster. I remember my buddy who got me into network marketing. He was in it for a few years and he was he was doing really well and he, you know, financially independent through it. But he kind of was at this one level where he was doing get well, but he couldn't break a certain, you know, that six figure mark. Um, and he's been in it for over a decade now, but he's focused on becoming a master networker and not chasing the money. And he makes well over six figures and he's been doing this for over 15 years. Why? Because he planted his flag. He has a six figure plus income and he gets to live anywhere in the world he wants. He gets to fly private jets. He gets to buy the coolest the custom made vans. He gets to do the greatest things with his kids and create magical memories around the world. Why? Because he guaranteed himself success by keeping his tree planted in one area. Now, you might sit there and Joe be like, Joe, well, that's great, but you know, I've been in XYZ industry for, you know, you know, a year or two. Well, time also plays a role. It takes a little bit of time for you to be able to achieve the results that you want. And now I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but what happens is we have a certain expectation in our mind on how long it should take for us to be successful when you don't hit it, because success usually doesn't come in your time frame. It comes when it's the appropriate time, and all of a sudden you get defeated and you start self-sabotaging. So you gotta be careful. So you gotta break down your time frame in your mind and say, I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life. Because when you take off that timetable, all of a sudden you and now you you stop the resistance of how much time it should take for you to have success, and you can attract that success a whole hell of a lot faster. Right, So time plays a major role because you also gotta master it. And I think it was uh, Malcolm Gladwell in his book said, it's about 10,000 hours to achieve the level of mastery. Anyone that you see that's successful, they weren't an overnight success. But I did make a video on how to become an overnight success and you may wanna watch that video. However, with that being said, it took them 
20 years to become an overnight success, right? It took them a decade to become an overnight success. So you got to get to the level of mastery. Everyone that you find that's successful, they are a master in what they do. And it took time and it took money and it took practice to get to that level. Same thing for you. So the first thing is you got to plant your flag. Next is you have to take massive action in whatever endeavor you're doing, making your relationship better, working on your body, building out your business. You have to take action. That's the second step. And once you're taking action, you got to look, I know a lot of people who take a lot of action, but it's not precise calculated action based on what they're truly after. That's a whole different outcome or topic that we can discuss. But once you look at once you start taking action, the third thing is you got to get feedback. You got to look at what feedback am I getting the results that I want or not? And you may need to make an adjustment. Right in that internet marketing, people are always doing split tests and testing headlines and testing, you know, different ad images, and they're looking to see which one is the most effective. And they take that feedback and they make the proper adjustments, and then they put themselves out there in the marketplace again. And if they get great results, they add more money into it. They add fuel to that fire. If they're not, they go back, they get that feedback, and they adjust. So you got to plant your flag in an industry, commit, take off the time frames. You got to take massive action on it, but you also got to get the feedback. Is this working? Is it not? Do I need to change my approach? And if that doesn't work, you may need to try something else. And if that doesn't work, try something else. And if that doesn't work, try something else. And if that doesn't work, try something else. Do you get the point by now? The ones that are most successful, the ones that are most consistent and they don't allow themselves to hit that wall. So that sounds great and that is how you can guarantee success and I'm not saying it's overnight, but over time if you work on becoming a better blank marketer, investor, husband, wife, um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, internet marketer, network marketer, the better or more money you'll make, right? But here's the big thing that I find for a lot of people that happens is when they hit that wall, we talked about planting your flag, is they get the shiny object syndrome, right? They're like, oh, well, I see my friends making sales and doing a lot of money in sales. And that was me. I was watching my buddies make 10, 20 grand a month in sales. And I was going to school and I was kind of dabbling in sales. But then I started looking at coaching professionally full time. And I was like, oh, which one do I try? You know, in sales, I made a couple grand this month, but do I stick with this? Like everyone else making 10, 20 grand or more, or do I go follow what I want to plant my flag in? And that's coaching. And ultimately I started, you know, shutting off the shiny object syndrome. I started just committing. I planted my flag in coaching. And so I went from making hardly any money in coaching to, you know, we've had $40,000 months. And I don't say that to impress you. I just say that to impress upon you this principle that when you plant your flag and you take massive action, you work on becoming a better blank, right? Insert whatever you want and you get your feedback and you make adjustments. And by the way, those that feedback isn't always comfortable. As a coach, I used to have some incredible mentors that would give me feedback on my coaching by listening and recording calls. It didn't feel good, but boy, did it make me good. And so I'm grateful for it, but it was uncomfortable. And you get that feedback and you make changes and you go forward again with your new insights. And I'm telling you, that's how you can guarantee your success, but how you can guarantee you don't have success in life or business is by jumping from one thing to the next after the shiny object syndrome. Right, right now, and as I make this video, it's like Bitcoin is the next big thing. You know, stocks are this big thing. You know, there's so many opportunities that are going to present yourself. You have to live in the abundant mindset that it doesn't matter what opportunities come. Yeah, you can make a lot of money, but if you master your one craft and you plant your flag in it for seven years or more, I'm telling you, you be and you focus on becoming a master, 10,000 plus hours, your money will come. Your success will come. And I'll wrap up with this. <clears throat> I had a, I, I went, my church, I went to a church in San Diego and I had an incredible conversation with um, someone I consider to be a spiritual mentor of mine. His name's Colin Higginbottom. And great guy. In fact, he told me he doesn't have financial goals. He has giving goals. And it changed my mindset. Like he has a goal. He had a goal at least, you know, it was probably almost seven years ago that we talked about this. He had a goal of giving well over six figures every year away, which means he would have to make, uh, or I'm sorry, six figures. And that means he would probably have to make close to seven figures or more, even more to be able to hit that goal, right? Um, 
because you got to live off your income that you make too, right? And so it changed my frame, but he's like, I remember when I started my business, however many years ago, he's like, we made 20 grand the first year. And then the second year we made like 50 grand and the third year he's like, but I just kept my flag planted and I just kept adding value to people and becoming better at what I did. And he's like, now we make, you know, close to seven figures. And I was just blown away. And that cemented this belief, this principle here that when you plant your flag in something, you can be able to be successful over the period of time if you really focus and change your approach after you get feedback with massive action, right? So if you're young, if you're watching this video, you're 17 through 25, I, you know, I, I love what Gary Vanderchuk says, but that's your opportunity to take chances, right? To learn, to dabble. What do you enjoy? What, what is it that you enjoy doing? How do you want to give value every day to the marketplace? Because if you enjoy giving value, like I love making these videos, it's not always easy, right? I always believe 80 20 rule that 20% of the time it sucks 80% 80 of the time it's great and so if you enjoy what you're doing you can figure that out you plant your flag there for you say seven years or longer right next 20 years or a lifetime you can now almost guarantee the money's coming the money's coming it's just how quickly do you want to become a master in what you do the biggest challenge is this shiny object syndrome, picking up their tree, planting it here for a little bit, then planting it here, and it's always in chalky. It'll never grow up and produce an abundance of fruit. And most people go their whole life wondering, how do I get ahead? Why can't I get ahead? You might sit there and say, Joe, you know, I'm, I've been doing the same job for 20 years and I'm still in the same financial situation. You picked a vehicle that doesn't allow you to add massive value and an unlimited amount of value. You're capped on your time. And we'll make another video on active income versus passive income or being a business owner and what that looks like. And a great book you guys can read is The Four Quadrants by Robert Kiyosaki or Rich Dad Poor Dad talks about it too. Great books to shift that, but you gotta be in a, in a vehicle too that you're really, your income can be unlimited, right? And so we'll make another video around that. But look, I hope this makes sense. Check out that video I shared with you guys before. And look, here's the deal. If you guys want to have more videos like this coming at you three times a week, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure that you turn the notifications on so you have that. Hit the like button. I'll tell you, we're making this channel Master Life by Design. The whole concept here behind it is to consciously create the life that you want, that you're in control of life and life not being in control of you. And I don't care. I have CEOs that I coach. They make tons of money, but they're stressed the hell out and their relationships south and their bodies south. They're really big on the economic but they suck in every area of life then i have people that are in great relationships but they can't make money people who just can't do any of it and so we hit the whole spectrum so if look if you're one of those people that you feel like you're a master in one area but the other categories of your life you're not living life by design go into the description below and fill out that application page to talk about working with a coach one-on-one -on -one. one of our we have a coach that would be a perfect fit for you to be able to break through to be able to create life by design for you it could be my wife me one of our coaches whoever it might be i don't care as long as you get your result because look like I said in the beginning of this video, I know what it was like to be 40 grand in debt, making less than $2,000 a month in San Diego, living with six other people and eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to get by. And it wasn't fun. I wanted success so bad. It wasn't until I hired a coach that I actually got to change the way I thought. And when I changed the way I thought and kept my flag planted, that's when the financial situation turned around. That's when my relationship challenges all turned around. That's when I mastered my body. And that's when I started to master my mind and my emotions. And life got so abundant. And I'll leave you with this. If you can master your emotions and you can live, it doesn't matter how much money you have or who you have or you don't have, although that is important, right? If you have a partner or something or you, your family, that's all important. But if you can be happy with you without anything else, life is rich. You're officially wealthy. It doesn't matter what your bank account says. It matters what's the emotional experience you have. And you might think that's a big bunch of fluff and all that stuff. But I'll tell you, if you're living in anger every day, I don't care if you have money and people who love you, you're going to live an angry life. 
But if you don't have anything and you're just always happy, you're going to have a magnificent life and you'll get experiences from that. So anyway, I hope you found value in this video. I hope you guys know I truly make these videos from my heart. I'd love to find out what do you have to think? What do you think about this video? Comment below. Please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And then I'd love to comment, interact with you guys. So with that, enjoy the rest of the videos. Go check out other videos that we posted. My name is Joe Moppet with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.